Welcome back to Man Kitchen. Today I'm going to bake with Betty Crocker. Yeah, Betty Crocker. And don't be hating because, you know, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not baking, it's already been pre done. But hey, this is Man Kitchen. They're making it easy. And also, the reason I'm baking is because my mom, my mom's birthday is tomorrow, and it's a big one. I don't know if I should tell her, say her age. I should turn in the big 5 0. -oh. Oh, happy birthday. I love you, mom. But I decided to make some cupcakes. You can read on the back. So, all I need is three eggs, a cup of vegetable oil, but I only use grapeseed oil. Hopefully, it's the same thing. And then it says water or milk. But you know it's not gonna be Man Kitchen without alcohol. So, I'm using one of her favorite liqueurs, Bailey's. So I'm taking that one cup, and a, a cup and a quarter, and I'm actually just gonna use Bailey's instead. So I just came back from the grocery store because I forgot cupcake liners. Uh, they'll make your life a lot easier if you use them. If not, just outline your cupcake tray with like butter or oil, I think, because I don't bake or use a non-stick pan. But this is just easier to hold, and there's not as much of a mess. Other than that, this is the mix. Just dump it into the bowl, like so. This will make 24 cupcakes. Throw your uh, half cup of oil in, like so. And then the special ingredient, Bailey's, and like that, woohoo. See how easy this is? Think of all the other things I would have had to measure out, and I don't have or you might not have like baking powder and soda and whatever else, so some mm, baileys, yum. So cracking three eggs. I have one talent, I can do it with one hand. What? Yeah. That's probably just from cracking, uh, making breakfast. There you go. And my chocolate chips. I don't know if this is a good idea, because it's a cake, but I'm just gonna throw a few in. I bought the smallest ones, so if, so they do melt. So, like that. Just to give it some extra choc chocolatey goodness. It says to use like a powered uh, mixer, but I don't have one of those. And if you do, I give you props. So I'm gonna just stop the tape for a couple minutes and, and just, Give it a good stir. So that's what it looks like. It's all nice and stirred up and gooey. I'm gonna give it a taste. I know there's raw egg in it, but mm, it tastes really good. Wow, let's do this more often. So I filled all the cupcake liners with cupcake mix and I've tried to keep them all the same. All I have to do is pop it in the oven. It's nice and hot. There you go. I'm gonna set the time for about 20 minutes. I've just taken the cupcakes out of the oven and I have to test them. Usually use a toothpick, but this is what I have. So once I insert this into the cupcake and it comes out clean, it's done. If not, and there's like dough on it, then I have to put the cupcake back in. Look at that, clean, professional. Well, yeah. So now I'm gonna wait until they cool down and then after I'll put some icing on it. So what I've decided to do with the icing is just put like happy 50th for my mom on the cupcake. So I just bought a tube of icing, but I think you can get like attachments for it. But all I did was poke a hole in it. So yeah, see how it goes. Anyway, that's the idea of it. <laughs> She'll love it. So I'm really excited to actually try this. So I'm taking off the wrapper. It smells like Bailey's. Mmm. Betty Crocker. Mm. It's really moist. Oh, and there's the chocolate chips. And you can definitely taste the Bailey's in it. 
Can't beat it. Well, that's my baking episode for Man Kitchen. Have a good holiday.